What is going on everybody and welcome back to a brand new team of the season play review and today we are going to be looking at from the Liga Portuguese, the Liga Nos team of the season, 91 rated Brazilian striker Jonas. If you do enjoy this play review make sure to leave a big thumbs up on it, if we get yourself a 25 likes that would be absolutely amazing and make sure you subscribe to the channel as well if you are new around here but I'm going to preface this by saying I wasn't ever going to actually review Jonas. I really wanted to get my hands on the team, this is the team of the season, sorry, Elton. But unfortunately, he's extinct. So I thought, you know what, we'll try out Jonas. And I am so, so glad that I did. We'll start it off, as always, by looking at his basic information. He stands at 5 foot 11 inches tall. He's got 3 star skill moves and a 4 star weak foot with high medium work rates. His price spans are between 27k and 500k. I paid, as you'll see, 288k. So he's not cheap. And I actually made a little bit of profit on him, or broke even on him. I sold him for about 305, and that's still what he's going for as we speak now. Uh, getting into his base card and in-game stats, he's a 91 overall, which is absolutely crazy, but he's had so many special cards throughout this year. I think he's had at least five or six. Um, base cards, 86 pace, 94 dribbling, 97 shooting, phenomenal. 89 passing, 81 physical and 45 defending. And his key stats, we have got the first lockout on the 99s of any player of his that I've done this year because he's got 99 finishing, positioning, heading curve and ball control. And he also comes with loads of traits and specialities. You've got finesse shot, technical dribbler, dribbler, distant shooter, crosser, free kick, specialist, acrobat, clinical finisher, poacher and complete forward. And complete forward, lads, is exactly what Jonas is. Uh, the team that we used to be in, it's a full Brazilian team as can see there a bit of a mixture of leagues but just flat out Brazilian and in the five games that we played with this team in the season Jonas he came out with 13 goals which is a very very nice return obviously and as we start to roll the footage now I'm just, I'm just gonna say the best striker that I have used this year on FIFA he is absolutely unreal he's only got one negative and that is skill moves if he had four star skill moves he would be just the perfect striker but that is his only fault as far as I'm concerned because this card is absolutely exceptional. You just pick up the ball with him, finesse it, and it goes in. His dribbling is on point, his finishing is on point, his heading. He is literally the definition of a complete forward. I'll say that his skill moves are a bit of a downside. It doesn't even matter that much really because his dribbling is so good. He just bobs and weaves and bundles some of the defenders anyway. Like I just mentioned, he's... He's got the height to do the heading, he's got great dribbling, he's finishing and he's finesse shot lads. Oh my word, I don't think I've ever used a player who's finesse shots, not this year on FIFA at least, is this effective. You're seeing the goals in the background now. So many goals where I'm just putting it onto that right, putting it onto that right foot, sorry, holding down our B and B. And he just goes in, it goes top bins, keeper standing no chance every single time. Partner with this fantastic shooting and dribbling is his movement. His movement is absolutely second to none. Always just making the runs and his positioning as well. I mean, that touch there, lads. Absolute filth. He's thought his runs are fantastic. And overall, lads, we're going to be giving him a 9.9 .9 out of 10. Skill moves, the only downside. If he had four star skill moves, this Jonas is getting a 10. And this has got to be the reason why he's so expensive. A lot of the time when players in like a league like the Liga Portuguesa, they're not quite as expensive. But the reason Jonas is so bloody expensive is because he's an absolute monster, lads. I would highly recommend you go out there and give him a go. But like I said, we're going to be giving him a 9.9 .9 out of 10. Best striker I've used this FIFA, uh, this year on FIFA without doubt. And uh, yeah, I hope you all enjoyed the review, lads. And I'll speak to you all in tomorrow's video. Have a great night, lads. Nidge out.